What's going on everyone? I'm Neo Otto, and for today's video, we're going to be discussing the 2021 Ford Bronco. A few years back, Ford made a huge announcement. They're bringing back the iconic Bronco nameplate, and they're not just releasing one model, they're releasing two under the Bronco name. But ever since they made that announcement, they really haven't given us much information. Well, recently, there have been many leaks of both Bronco models. We see pictures of them, documents telling us what features will be equipped. I would say without a doubt, this will be one of the biggest car announcements of the decade. So in this video, I'm gonna discuss everything we know so far about both of these Bronco models, and I'm also gonna give you my thoughts on them. So with that being said, let's get started. So to begin, let's look at this leak from a Ford press conference. Now, this is interesting to me because this was a private event. No one was allowed to take pictures of the presentation. This image shows the Ford Bronco Sport. It's one of the two Broncos coming out in 2021. And in the center image, we can see the silhouette of a larger sized Bronco. These images were taken about a year and a half ago. And for the longest time, there were no more leaked images. But by the end of 2019, Ford began releasing promo footage for the new release. In the promo, we see Broncos from the past, along with how the logo has changed over the decades. And finally, we see the new logo for 2021. And I've gotta say, I really like the appearance of this new logo. It's a fresh new take for the next generation. It was official. The new Bronco would be revealed in the spring of 2020. But unfortunately for Ford, many major leaks were about to happen. In March of 2020, a series of leaks started showing up online of both Bronco models. Let's start by looking at the full-size Bronco. This is believed to be a legitimate image. It shows a four-door Bronco, and it looks a lot like the Wrangler. Now, this makes a lot of sense. The Jeep Wrangler is one of the most popular off-road vehicles available today. It's a unique vehicle with a large following, and it has next to no competition. Ford executive Jim Farley had a bold statement to say about the Bronco. Now we're ready to reclaim our rightful place as the off-road vehicle leader. As if this picture wasn't revealing enough, another set of pictures showed up online. And this time, they were much more clear. These are by far the best undercover images yet. We can see everything from the front to the back. I've gotta say, Ford, you nailed it. This is exactly what we wanted. Like I said before, this has the classic styling of the Broncos from the 60s and 70s. It has the classic round headlights, and if you look at this leaked image of the headlight, you can see where the turn signal will be. I have a feeling it's going to be a sequential turn signal. As we saw in the last image, Bronco will be spelled out in the front grille, and it almost appears it illuminates along with the running lights. Or maybe it just looks like it in this picture. I'm not 100% sure. This model has a long hood with an engine bulge, meaning there might be a larger engine under the hood. The rumor at this point is that it will get a 2.7 liter turbo V6 engine. Now, a lot of people are concerned, will this Bronco come with a manual transmission? Well, believe it or not, it appears there will be a seven speed manual transmission option. You see, Ford has a manual transmission supplier named GetReg, and they've recently revealed a new transmission. On GetReg's website, they detail the new transmission, and it mentions how it can be equipped with a low speed crawler gear. This would be perfect for the new Bronco, and it even goes on to say that this transmission would work in a hybrid SUV. At its core, the Bronco is a vehicle for off-road enthusiasts, much like its rival, the Jeep Wrangler, which comes with a manual transmission. Although most customers will probably go with the 10-speed automatic, many people still prefer the manual. If Ford truly wants to be the off-road leader, there must be a manual option. If not, they'll lose customers to Jeep. Looking back at the image, there's a few more things I'd like to point out. The first one being, look at these handles on the hood. We're not quite sure what these will be used for. Some people have suggested they're retro-inspired turn signals, but I'm not so sure. Maybe they work with some sort of Bronco accessory that we don't know about yet. We know from countless documents that many accessories will be available for this vehicle. Now look at where the side mirrors are placed. They're mounted on the A-pillar, and there's a very important reason for that. If you've ever seen a Jeep Wrangler or Gladiator without its doors, you won't see the side mirrors because they're attached to the doors. So to fix this problem, Ford just moved the mirrors off of the doors. Now all the pictures I've shown you so far show the Bronco with four doors, but if you look in the background, you can see a Bronco that has two doors, and it also has a roll cage. 
Here is another leaked image of a supposed two-door Bronco. Now this one looks a little cartoonish and there's a reason for that. Upon further inspection, the blacked out windows and the art on the walls suggest this was taken in a design studio. In other words, we're looking at a clay model. But I think it's safe to say this is probably what the two-door Bronco will look like. The side mirrors are not mounted on the door and it also has those same handles on the hood. Now, as we look to the back of the Bronco, the first thing you'll notice is, yes, there is a tire mounted on the back. This is something that a lot of Broncos from the past came with. As I'm looking at this Bronco, I just think it has such a clean look. It's a modern, fresh take on a classic design, and it doesn't get too messy. Like, just take a look at the taillights. It keeps a simple design like the early Bronco models. Something else I noticed, and I wonder if this won't become a trend in the 20s, the wheels are not black. These are carbonized gray aluminum wheels, and I think it looks so sharp on this model. Now, remember those leaked images from the press conference? Well, here it is, the Bronco Sport. This vehicle is described as being an off-road focused, compact SUV. The way I see it, this is Ford's response to the Jeep Renegade. Looking at the front of the vehicle, you see Bronco spelled out on the grill. It's a nice touch, and I have to say, I do like the styling of this vehicle, but I do like the full-size Bronco a little better. On the back, it says Bronco Sport. I don't really care for it saying Bronco on the back. The front, it looks perfectly fine, but in the back, you see Bronco, Sport, and a Ford logo. It just looks too messy to me. If it were my decision, Bronco would be indented into the back, much like the F-150, the Super Duty, and the Ranger. That would give it a cleaner look. And I can't say I'm really a fan of these taillights. I think that the full-size Bronco did a much better job, but I guess I'm getting too picky here. For the most part, this vehicle looks pretty good. So some of you might be wondering, why is Ford releasing two Bronco models at the same time? Well, basically, Ford is aiming to make Bronco a sub-brand of Ford, much like how Ram is separate from Dodge now. So the Bronco and the Bronco Sport will be the first two vehicles of this sub-brand. Just like a certain customer wants a certain type of Jeep, the same will apply to Bronco. Based off leaked documents, we know the Bronco Sport will share powertrain options with the Escape, a turbo three-cylinder and a turbo four-cylinder. It's believed that every Bronco Sport model will be four-wheel drive. The document also reveals there'll be five different trim levels, the base, big bend, Outer Banks, Badlands, and First Edition. And once again, I think this vehicle will come with a manual transmission. Its competitor, the Jeep Renegade, has one, and offering a manual allows the customer to save some money. If you'd ask me, I don't think Ford is messing around. I do believe they are trying to become the off-road leader. And if you look at this teaser video they released, it shows a Bronco prototype racing in the desert. And on top of that, they even have a race-ready version. Now, obviously, this is not what the production version will look like. But according to a Ford representative, the vehicle is being used to test out features for the production Bronco. Listen to this 30-second clip. It basically sums up everything. This legacy product and hinting at, at the new styling of the new truck, it is underpinned by the same T6 frame and architecture as the production truck. So we'll be using this to test not only the the frame and the chassis, but also the powertrain and driveline system. So this is all part of a process for us to really prove out uh, the integrity of the product and the integrity of our engineering ahead of the production launch and really launch it with uh, true off-road credibility. If Ford is able to make the Bronco more capable than a Wrangler and started out at a lower price, there's gonna be some waves in the off-road industry. It would be a great way for Ford to break into the market. Now, if you're still not convinced that Ford wants to be the off-road leader, rumor has it a Bronco pickup truck is in the works. That's right, a Bronco pickup. This would be direct competition for the Jeep Gladiator. And it would be another model, a part of the Bronco sub-brand. On top of that, there's talks of a Bronco Raptor coming out. So by the mid-20s, there could be four or more Bronco models on the market. Considering everything we've seen so far, there's absolutely reason to believe Ford wants to be the off-road leader. So what do Jeep and Chevy have to say about the Bronco? Well, according to the reports, they act like they're not concerned. But let me ask you this. Why did the Jeep Gladiator come out one model year before the Bronco? And why now is General Motors bringing back the Hummer? In my opinion, they're preparing to put vehicles up against the Bronco. But this is only my opinion. Until Ford reveals all the capabilities of the Bronco, we'll just have to keep waiting. This truly is an exciting time for Ford, and I can't wait to see what they have in store. 
Anyway guys, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I'm Neo Otto, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day.